As a filmmaker, how many filters do you really need? Let's talk about it. Before we get into this video, if you guys can do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and also head down to the comment section and leave a comment if you guys enjoyed this video. All right guys, so this video was pretty much sparked from a conversation that I had with a good friend of mine the other day. Pretty much he was asking about a certain filter that he was using for his lens. And I gave him my two cents about that particular filter, but I also let him know that if you do plan on buying more filters, this is a route that I think you should take. So pretty much I wanna give you guys that same information if you are a beginner filmmaker or you just don't have the information that I'm gonna give you guys today. So pretty much what this video is gonna boil down to is to allow you guys to save money on buying all of these filters. So don't be like me and purchase a whole bunch of filters that you know, you just might not need. When I first started out, I had, I think, three lenses that I was using with my old Sony camera, and I would buy filters to fit each individual lens. And although that worked, I was wasting and spending so much money. And I wanna let you guys know that there's a way to pretty much alleviate all of that money being spent. Okay, look, so for example, I have this lens right here, which is the Sony 18105, and I also have the Sigma 30 mil this is Sony version, Sony E-mount version. So pretty much, you got two lenses, different focal lengths, and both obviously two separate sizes. The 18105 has a third count of 72 millimeters, and the Sigma has a third count of 52. Now what you could do is buy the exact size for each of these lenses when it comes to your filters, but what you really wanna do is buy the biggest size filter that you can that's gonna fit your biggest lens, and then buy separate rings. Pretty much what this is gonna do is allow you to utilize the biggest third size that you have for that one filter instead of buying multiple filters and you can pretty much attach it to the smaller lens that you have. I believe this one goes down to a 49 all the way up to 82. So say like you had a lens that had a third size of 82 millimeters and you had a second lens that had like a third size of 55. So what you would do is if you wanted to put that bigger filter on your smaller lens, uh, you would just adjust this to the 55 millimeter third count, attach that to the smaller lens, and utilize a bigger filter. So you won't have to buy multiple or double the amount of filters you will need to fit your lenses. So pretty much just buy the biggest filter for your biggest lens, and if you have another smaller lens, buy separate rings. So you don't have to buy multiple amounts of filters, man. It's just such a waste of money. So if you guys are looking to save money, I would recommend you guys hitting this route and picking up some step up rings, man. Also, if you guys are looking for like a filter pouch, this is what I use. I use the uh, Tika filter pouch. Um, I talked about this in my West My Camera Bag 2020. Uh, this holds about five filters. It keeps the dust out of it, nice and clean. I've had no problems or issues with this uh, filter case. It's like, what, 15 bucks on Amazon? So yeah, so if you guys are interested in purchasing this filter pouch or the step up rings that I talked about earlier, I'm gonna link both of these items down in the description and you guys to go check it out for yourself. All right guys, I'm about to get up out of here, man. This should be a nice, quick, easy upload. Um, like I was saying earlier, I highly, highly recommend that you guys pick up a separate ring because if you're someone who's gonna be purchasing or buying um, multiple lenses for your camera, and you're trying to get multiple filters, I just recommend that you get a separate ring so you don't have to buy multiple of the same filter for your different lenses. It just makes no sense. If you want to save money, you know, it's your money, you can do what you want to do, but who doesn't like saving money? All right, look, if you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be informational, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.